a horse that uh, goes to cheating on you, like your weekend horse that uh, won't get all the way to his ends, maybe he's flipping in, uh, starting to cheat too much. A common problem when you show one a lot and um, uh, they get to cheating on those ends. Um, the way I like to fix that is, uh, first of all, I want to get a lot of good leg control on my horse. I want to get that horse to where I can use an inside foot on him and make him wait. Um, a lot of guys will use both feet, whatever, whatever you come up with uh, is great, but I want to get to where I'm holding an inside leg on my horse, making him wait uh, up against that cow and listening to me. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to drive a cow off and I'm going to make him react to that cow and then I'm going to hold him with my feet to make him wait and slow down instead of just overreacting. Um, to get that, I like to have a lot of... Okay, when we talk about driving that cow, we're talking about driving to it and, and then making our horse get back away from it. So in a show situation, we're trying to get our horse off this cow because what our horse has been trying to do is just come over here and just flip in here and charge the cow. Well, uh, what I want to do is get a lot of control on that horse and be able to ride him out over here and then make him come back to me like this, using a little cow side leg so he does not flip in. Now, to get this up and to the outside, outside, weight, draw. And if at home, if you're going a length past the cow, especially on a nice quiet cow like this, you can give him that chance to pull back in, use his nervous energy right here to pull back into position, nose to nose with your cow. And like I said, if we've been doing the right thing at home and we've been riding out past that cow and making him wait and making him do that right there. He just did that all by himself where he was like, I'm outside this cow too far. It's still, I'm going to pull back into position. And when he pulled back into position, if our turnback man runs in and moves that now, we're in the right spot. Well, get outside the cow, wait. And like I said, if it's extreme, if you've got one of those old war horses that's, that's uh, really just running through you, a lot of times you can get right here, pick your hand up, spin your horse away. Have, have him think, get flatter and get over here. Now, if you do that too much, you'll get in the situation where he'll turn the wrong way. So it's just a little delicate balance right there. You'll feel that horse reading that cow. But once he starts doing this to where he'll get to the outside and he'll wait, he'll just shuffle back a little bit, he should be good to go show.